out, hunting on my bed, texting with the bill, roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie of the year. Fronting with the cash. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're just gonna get right into this video today. So as you guys can see, the hair that I'm using today is from her hair company. This is like my third time working with them, and I am obsessed. Like every single time I get hair from them, I get the Eurasian blonde I think that's how you say it um I could be saying it wrong but this just makes it so much easier for me to do coloring because I do really love coloring my hair especially um the color that I'm going for today um it's like a nice blonde but I didn't want to just use the blonde that it comes in I wanted to kind of tone it and give it a little bit of a signature look that is going to fit my skin tone. So I basically got three bundles on one frontal. I have two 20 inches and one 18 inches and then a 16 inch or a 14 inch frontal. Um, so as you guys can see, the frontal looks really, I mean, well, not the frontal itself, but the color, it's not complementing my skin tone so i'm basically gonna go ahead and do the little coloring but this here feels so good the ends are really nicely cut so you don't get that little um you know how it just kind of get really thin at the end it just doesn't look good so i just really like the fact that they took their time to like cut it and make everything perfect okay so for today's video we are going to be using the vivid tone color and this is in the color 104 hl and then we're going to be using the Wella Color Charm in medium ash brown for the roots. And of course, you're going to need your developer. So I have the 20 volume developer um, just because I don't want it to process really fast. But you can actually use a 10 just to slow down the process. And of course, you're going to need your bold and your brushes. So let's get right into this video. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Weller toner that I just showed you guys. And I'm using half of that bottle. I'm putting half of it. And then I'm going to take my empty Weller um, bottle and I'm putting on the developer. So I'm putting a full bottle of that Weller um, toner, but it's developer instead. You get it? Like, you guys kind of get the measurement. Because um, I guess last time when I did my video, I didn't do it very well. And somebody told me like I was supposed to use like, uh, I think like two bottles of that if I'm using a whole bottle. So I just thought if I use a half, then I'm going to use a full bottle of the um, developer. So you just want to make sure you mix that very well. This part of the video is very tedious. I don't know how long. It probably took me like a whole hour to finish applying this um developer into the hair i mean this color well or whatever toner to the roots so i wanted my roots to be a little darker just because i really don't like how um when i see girls with blonde hair and the roots is like all completely blonde and they have makeup on and it ends up just looking like they took mud and just slapped it on there um in front of the hair it just doesn't look good so i decided to put toner on my just to have that dark root and it just kind of makes it more wearable for me so um i just put that on and i let it sit for i think like 30 minutes so i took my shortest bundle which is going to be the one um closest to the um the frontal and i just put some of that um toner on the wefts just on the wefts because it's not going to be showing but i just wanted to make sure um like tiara would say clock i don't want to get clocked <laughs> I love when she says that. Anyway, so guys, I'm going back into the Vivid um, color and I'm putting a whole bottle and I'm taking on um, this little bowl that I have and I'm putting a whole um, um, developer, the 20 volume developer, and I'm just going to mix it. And then I just went ahead and apply it all over my bundles and my frontals. So I'm not showing every single bundle and frontal just because this is just repeated thing so yeah you just basically mix it and just apply it to the hair and this pretty much process really fast i didn't think like the 20 um volume would process as fast as it did but it actually did so um if you're not that fast make sure you just use like a 10 volume developer um but yeah so i just kind of let that sit i think i just literally let them all sit for like 10 minutes and i went ahead and um rinse it and shampoo it so you guys can see the difference because i really wanted you guys to see that there's actually a huge difference from before and after the um 
colors and so as you guys can see the other one just kind of look a bit more um, cooler tone and it just kind of fits my color so as you guys can see this is the frontal and that is how the roots look I made a lot of mistakes so please don't be like me take your time as you guys can see I didn't really get that party and right there was still some hair that looked pretty white so it made it very hard for me to blend it to my scalp and um, yeah so right now this is where I fucked up guys let me just tell you guys I don't know what I was going through but I thought I could like tone this hair with the toner because I didn't have the adore color that everybody used and I did not feel like going back out to the beauty supplies to get another to go back and get the color so I decided to try to make a potion at home yeah this is when I realized I have issues issues okay just wait and watch so apparently this wasn't working I decided to put the toner and warm water and I looked and I'm like what the hell this is not working it's not toning anything I was so mad I was like god I really have to go out now so basically I live in LA now I have to literally take an uber everywhere so I'm just like fuck I don't want to so this is me trying and trying to see if it's going to tone the thing and if you don't know why people tone is because it kind of makes the um the lace a bit darker and makes it more like a natural scalp and so yeah this this is when I knew this is when I knew I've I have lost my complete sense of mind and everything when I took the Ben 9 powder and put it in the water <laughs> somebody please tell me <laughs> what was wrong with me I was dead as trying to experiment this is what happened when you were hella lazy Oh my god but do not worry guys I did end up having to go to the store because yeah it just it wasn't working out but yeah I did that like the next day so this is still the same day when I realized it wasn't working out so I just decided to shampoo so right now I'm just gonna show you guys um, just a bit of me tweaking the hair um, I've done a really detailed video on how I tweak my frontals and everything and lace wigs and everything like that. So um, if you want to see that, I'm going to leave a link in the description bar down below. So this is going to be pretty much, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it's, it's pretty simple to follow. And with this frontal, honestly, you do not even need to... Um, what do you call it go back in and tweak it because they have already pre-plugged it for you so I think I kind of did a little extra and I might have made it a little thin do not be like me be better than I am okay be better <laughs> So right here, I'm just kind of showing you guys how I kind of do my wigs. Um, but this is not like a full detail video on how I make my wigs because I do have a video that I have on my channel that shows you guys how to do it from beginning to end. Um, so right now, this video is just mainly focused on the color process, I would say. But yeah, so just to give you guys a little detail, I am double my wigs are actually double and I always cut my wigs at the end when it gets to the frontal I will cut it just because I don't want any bulky I I don't think I'm good at doing the fold over method so yeah I just cut it and I just make sure I really secure it so it doesn't like shed as you guys can see like just secure it so I decided to go back to the store and I went and got this color because I could not find any adult brand um, hair color. So I just decided to go with any um, semi-permanent hair color that I picked up. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but that's close to brown or chocolate from Adore. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour some hot water into my bowl and then I'm going to take a spoon and put a spoon of the color and then a spoon of the salt and basically what the salt does is to um, 
cancel out the red undertone from the dye um but yeah i'll just make sure i mix that very well and then i'm gonna go ahead and put my frontal in and you're supposed to leave this for like 30 seconds but you guys know i had a long damn experience with this frontal so i'm just like i'm about to let this sit forever it just needs to work out this time like I don't care what happened, this needs to work out. So I think I was in there for like more than 30 seconds. <laughs> so this is how the hair looks after um, the toning. I think it did pretty good, but I wish it was a bit darker. So um, this is the next day, the hair has air dry and I did blow dry it to just kind of um, make it like as straight as, as straight as possible before I go in and um, thin it out. So right now I'm basically parting my frontal and I'm tying it up because I'm about to go in and thin the hair out and I did not, did, what? I did not want to thin out the frontal just because we already went in and tweaked it. So yeah, I'm just using, I don't know what this thing, I don't I think it's called thinning shears or thinning scissors. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But yeah, so I just kind of run that through the hair to um, kind of take out a bit of the excess hair. Well, not excess hair, but yeah, make it as thin as I can, but not too thin, okay? We're not going too crazy with it. So as you guys can see, it's very flowy and the comb, I mean, the brush is just going straight in. So this is all the hair that we got out. And so now we're going to part the hair and we're going to start straightening. And I got my straightener from like the beauty supplies and I realized I could have just went to, what do you call it, Roz or Marshall and get it for way cheaper. Like all the ones at the beauty supplies were just so damn expensive. Like I don't want to buy a flat iron that costs $80, even $40. That's too much. Ugh. But yeah, it's just, ugh, it's ridiculous. I was like, no. No, why did that not go to Ross? What was I doing? What was I thinking? But anyway, so I don't really put any product on my hair like that. So I just went ahead and straightened my hair to the best of my ability. Hi, it looks really good. I did a good job, guys. Can you guys just give me my trophy, please? Give me those likes for doing a good job. I think I did a good job. Do not be a hater. Give me my trophy. Give me my likes, give me the comments, tell me, but if you're a professional and you think there's something that I should have done, let me know in the comments down below because I like learning, okay? I do. I like to explain my hair and I like to learn. So um, right now I'm just going to go ahead and take my got to be glue spray and just spray it on top and then I'm going to take my brush and just um, make sure I'm laying down those flyaways we do not want a flyaways okay they are our enemy anyway um so guys that's it that's it i love this hair i i did an amazing job i'm sorry i'm not cocky i'm just very proud of myself at this moment and i think it's okay to say i did a good job oh so, yeah uh, hi chloe Anyway, so this is Shalom Black, aka Famous Monster. Somebody online was trying to make fun of me and call me like a famous monster, and they didn't realize they literally just gave me a cool ass name because I thought it was dope. Like, I can take any negative thing and make it into a positive, and I just feel like that's how you should be, you know? Don't let the negative people get to you. But anyway, just coming back to this video. Right now, I'm just taking my favorite glue, my forever glue. This is the bold hole glue that I rave about every single time. I'm going to leave it in the description bar for those of you guys interested. But when you put this on, it literally melts your lace wig into your, your skin. It makes it look like it's your hair. And this lasts forever. Well, maybe like two weeks, a week or two. But you can take it off anytime you want to. They do have the glue remover that you can use, so make sure you check that out too. So basically, I'm just going to let that sit for like 30 seconds until it clears out, and then I go back in and apply it again. And then, as you guys can see now, I'm just applying my wig 
on and this just oh yes just put it on make sure you're really laying the lace exactly where you want it to be before applying pressure because when it sticks it sticks forever I'm talking so low, but I'm using this microphone and it's making me sound like I'm talking really loud. Like if you were standing next to me, you probably wouldn't hear me. But this mic is lit. So can you guys just see how that just went on my skin? Like it looks beautiful. And do you guys understand the reason why I did that dark roots? It just kind of makes it look so much better. So even when I get makeup on it, it's just not going to look as bad as it would if it was just all straight blonde. So yeah, apply pressure and then I'm going to go ahead and just um, um, put a scarf around it just because I really want this to last so long. Usually sometimes I don't tie, tie it just because I'm just like, I might take it off soon, but I really want it to last long. So um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take the scarf now after like... I don't know, 10 minutes, but you can leave it for like 30 minutes if you wish. And this is us, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, or if you're a professional and you just think I need to do better, let me know in the comments down below. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. And let's start using the hashtag famous monster. That is me. But bye, guys. I love you. Take my shit by force. Set my shot by force. You don't know I got the sauce. No ketchup. Just sauce. No sauce.